Hello everybody, it is Rick, it is October the 18th, 2018, my email is rick, R-I-C-K, 0327 at me.com, okay, thanks everybody, you watched the video I posted yesterday, um, I'm going to do another video on the computer, I just didn't have the time today. Uh, I was typing um, for a guy, good guy, he's doing battle over in Brooklyn, you know, um, these support magistrates here in New York, they just ignore you, and, you know, where, because, you know, I, I got, I'm here I am on here telling you guys, you know, you got to do this, got to do that. And then you go to, for my for the people in New York, as I know, I was one of you, and it happened to me. Um, you know, you assert your rights, and then they just ignore you. And, you know, there's an old saying, you know, either you, you, you crap or get off the pot, you know? Well, I, I've said it in many, many, many videos, uh, you know, I had people ask me, you know, my, my, my friend Joe, uh, okay, at the ethical anarchy articulated and whatever whatever he's under now as he's traveling up and down the byways of Texas. That's like, he's a, let me tell you, that guy walks the walk. Anyway, you know, he, he in an email one time, he probably doesn't even remember, but he was like, you know, what do, you, what do we do? You see, the only way these people are going to fear us ultimately is the fear of like what keeps all of us in line. It's the fear of going to jail or prison. Okay, that's really what keeps all of us in line. Really, if you think about it. All right, I'm sure we can all think of somebody that deserves a bat across the head. Okay, there's plenty of people out there that deserve it. Okay, if you're trying to hurt me and my family, uh, you know, trying to take money from me, you deserve to be hurt. Okay? But we can't do that, obviously. So you, you look for the next best thing, and that is to do it legal-wise. Now, uh, I see by filing a police report, a verified, it's called a sworn verified statement. Okay? And it's really, a, you know, it's a, it's a police complaint, or you know, to a sheriff. And you try, you're going to try and file criminal charges against these people. Okay. And again, this is the, uh, the hard part is trying to get somebody to actually do it. Now, you know, maybe uh, if you're in a particular state and you, you, you know a few guys. You know, maybe you guys get together. You know, it's like pooling money together, you know, and, and you get together and you, you go and file a complaint. All right, you stop, maybe you, you go to the police department or the sheriff department, or you can go to the district attorney. Uh, here in New York, we, in the city, we can file it in the precincts. Uh, this morning I was typing up a one for a guy who I was talking about in Brooklyn because, again, these, these support magistrates are out of control. And, you know, the way I typed it up, it, it, it is an orchestrated crime, all right? Now, and I'll explain why, okay? Under uh, federal law 642, right, section 654, subsection 3, says that each state has to establish uh, a child support, uh, you know, you know, uh, for child support proceedings, which should be a separate uh, entity, basically, which means it's separate from the court, all right? Now, let me explain how it works in New York. Now, in New York... Uh, there's a case law called Corella versus Collins. 
and it says, it's an appellate decision that says that a uh, family court judge has the, uh, the final review, all right, they must basically confirm any judgments by a support magistrate. Now, think about it, it makes sense because a support magistrate is a non-judicial person just like these pretend judges wherever you're from. And their positions were created, okay, for the establishment of the establishment and then enforcement of child support. So basically what they do is they create their own uh, judgment and then they enforce it. And then they do it without the review of a judge. Now, in New York, it, again, I just told you, a family court judge must have the final have the final authority to review the determination. Then, on the Family Court Act 439, which is the, uh, basically, it's the, uh, the jurisdiction of a support magistrate, says, first of all, then it also says in that that they have to prove you acted, uh, willfully to violate the law all right well they never do that remember and i'm gonna do a video on willful also willful is a very very strong word and very difficult to prove all right i covered that in yesterday's video but anyway uh, it all so on the family court act 439 stated that the orders by a support magistrate unless confirmed by a family court judge lacks legal force, meaning it's void, right? Well, this, that coincides now with the uh, Corella versus Collins, the appellate court division, uh, decision that says that the final authority of the, re of the determinations coming from family court, okay, reside, you know, the uh, family court judge has because on the New York State Constitution every family court is have at least one family court judge which means that they are the authority that means that they, they, there should be no orders leaving family court without the signature of a family court judge now again going back to uh, I don't want to lose anybody going back to 42 USC section 654 subsection 3 where uh, child support is is created separate so that means it's not part of the courts okay and that means that that's what I said to you guys that they're they're inside of the court building what is that for that's for theatrics to give you the idea you know that you're there. It's like, uh, you know, when you go to a zoo, you know, that people are like, how do they keep the animals in, you know, in, in, you know, where they are? Because they put them in a habitat. So that they're, they're, you know, instinctually they think that they're, they're, they're in their habitat. Well, you go to, you go to court, you think you're in a court, but you're not. You're, you're in a separate hearing that's not part of the courts. Okay? 654 subsection 3. Go read it. So that means that it's not part of the court. It's under the auspices of the court. That means that the court must have the final say. Or it's void. And this goes in your state as well. Okay? And, and here we go. I'm going to back it up again. Um... Supreme Court case I cited all the time Burnham versus Superior Court 1990 that says this is the quorum non judice those of you that are with me still okay it says that any judgment issued by a person not a judge quorum non judice is void because it violates the 14th amendment because the judicial officer is not present you see how they, they, it's all consistent. So, they know this. So, when they're issuing their judgment, 
without the final authority confirmation of a judicial officer, they are willfully violating the law. Okay? That's a crime. There's no such thing as, uh, you know, a civil crime. A crime is a crime. So, you know, if somebody hits you across the head with something inside of a courthouse, is that a civil crime? It's a crime. So if they're going to commit a crime inside the court, it's still a crime. So you should be able to file a police report. This is what I'm thinking. This is what we're going to all have to start doing. All right? Like everything else, everything starts with a first step, okay? You got to start. All of you that got to where you are now, watching my video, learning. You first started out, you didn't know shit. You know how many people from watching me, watching Amen, watching uh, TLT, The Liquid Theory, you know, you're watching us, you're learning, right? You're watching It's Me. I don't leave anybody else out. I got uh, Dougie Moomy's got a channel now, all right? Uh, you're learning. But you start out not knowing. You start out knowing you're getting screwed. Remember I, I, I described that instinctual feeling, okay? So everything, so if this means that, you know, we're gonna have to go to a, a, a sheriff, a police precinct, and try and file a police report, and they may say no, all right, we take it from there, you know, then maybe we gotta sue the police department. I could tell you somebody that was one day, they don't like that. All right, you start getting other agencies involved. All right, I know that by me filing, you know, uh, trying to sue the people that screwed me in federal court when I was stonewalled, that definitely had force and effect when I went to see the uh, family court judge in the video that I posted. He was treating me, you know, with a lot of respect. Okay, because I was a dangerous person. I can, I could actually, and if you watch the video. And again, a lot of you, you probably heard me say this, but again, I always have new subscribers, so I got to, you know, repeat myself. Okay, it's not fair to them. They don't. They just jumped on board. All right? If you watch it, I'm not reading off any paper. Like, uh, if those of you that was watching that horse shit with that uh, Christine Blasey Ford with the 36-year-old supposed sexual assault nonsense... If, if something happened to you, what are you reading off a piece of paper for? You should be able to describe it from memory. How many of you can describe what happened to you right now with this stuff? Well, a ton of you, because it's consumed your life. You don't need to read off a piece of paper. If you watch the video, like, I'm not reading off any paper. And I was like, blah, 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 you know me, I can talk. All right? So maybe this will start sending the message to these people. We have, that's the next move. Okay, and I don't want anybody, you know, threatening, you know, everything is cordial. All right? Uh, who knows? Maybe if you go file a police report, maybe you'll get lucky that they might be receptive. Maybe a couple of them there might be victims of. Okay? You know, I, I always would... I had, a, you know, I have theories in my head, and a lot of times I'm right, you know, uh, but, you know, sometimes, you, you you know, I'm insecure sometimes, I have low self-esteem, believe it or not, and I, I, have, I, I doubt myself, and then I find out when I do something, I'm right, I should have done it sooner, you know, and so, you know, maybe I, I had an idea, you know, I wish, like, I can, uh, you know, get a hold of like the um, the president of the uh, of the NYPD uh, PBA union the police, uh, police benevolent union and you know get the word to him that you know the thousands of police officers in NYPD who are victimized by this 
All right, I'm friendly with a guy, Joe. You know who you're, Joe, if you're watching the video. Uh, you know, they, these people are really dirty. They, you know, they know he's a cop, and then they uh, notified his job that you know he's threatening them when he's not. All he's doing is exercising, asserting his rights. But this is how dirty these people are. When they, that's why, like, I would have never been able to get away with what I got away with if I was still a police officer. Me being retired was like a perfect storm against them because there's nothing they could do to me other than stealing my money, which they were already doing. <clears throat> okay? But, you know, these... these you know, if, if the word got out that all of these... And not just them, other city and state workers out there. Firemen, I know firemen out in California. His, his, um, his girlfriend reached out to me. All right? Good guy, really good guy, and he and, and he's another victim. He's a he's a fire captain. He's a captain of fire department, and all they're doing is they took his divorce agreement, they altered it without jurisdiction in the wrong court, and now they and 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 uh, him and his ex-wife agreed that he wouldn't have to pay child support because he gave her property that was uh, an equitable agreement, okay, and then you know. Years later, she's jealous of his now girlfriend, and and she takes him to court. And now, and now, all listen, they don't care about her. All they see is that they can get X amount of dollars directly from his check because all of these, you know, if you're a city or state worker, when the state sends an income withholding order, they automatically give the money right up. That's a windfall for them. Like with me, when they saw me, I'm retired. They can get the money, and, and my pension gave it right up because my pension was in on it. They're all in on it. This is this is nothing but it, this. This is a conspiracy. Okay. Well, actually, it's not a conspiracy because it, it, it's a fact. Because they're doing it. All right. It's a fact. All right. But you know, I'm thinking this may be the next way to go. Start thinking in your head. You know. And obviously, I'm going to help you guys. I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, I typed up for, uh, for this guy this morning uh, a, a police report, a verified statement, a sworn verified statement under the threat of perjury, which means you're telling the truth. You're telling them, listen, I'm not lying. Because if I am lying, I'm committing perjury. Okay? So, you know, that is the way to go, I believe. If enough of, uh, if enough of us do it, who knows? Because, you know, we got to do something to get these people to stop. All right? How many of you did this and did that that I tell you to do and they ignore you? I know because I get the emails. <laughs> All right? And it's like, you know... I'm running out of things to tell you to do because if, if they're ignoring it, there's not much I can do. There's only so many remedies out there, okay? I mean, I could tell you to go to to Fed court, but they got that covered too. I'm not saying all of it, but, you know, um, in Fed court, they if you bring in, uh, you know, if you're trying to sue one of them in Fed court, they, they, they have this Rooker Feldman to protect them, which is what, what Rooker Feldman is, is, they, is they're claiming that the federal court, which is a court of limited jurisdiction, but it is the court that you're supposed to go to when a, uh, you know, a federal right of yours is violated, okay? But what they do is, is they claim that the federal court is not an appellate court to review state court losers, okay? And what they do is, doesn't matter what facts you cite, doesn't matter how many ways you do it, they ignore that and they just say, dismiss Rooker-Feldman doctrine, and they just word it in their, you know, basically I've read a lot of them, a lot of them it's the same freaking response, and it's like, it's like, like those of you get my paperwork, you just fill in your name, okay? And they might change a couple things, but I, I've read a few of them. They're all pretty much the same. 
So basically, all these judges are passing around the same response. Okay? I, I believe if you're going to try and sue them for a civil rights violation, do it in a state court. You can. You're allowed to file uh, federal right charges in state court. You just do it under common law, and you write next to... Um, so if, say you're going to use, you're going to cite uh, 42 U.S.C. 1983, 18 U.S.C. 241, you know, deprivation of rights, trespass upon rights. You write next to that CF uh, dot parentheses. And what that is, is you are, you're comparing it to that law. So you're saying that... They violated my rights com compared to that law. But I am not filing federal charges. I'm saying they trespassed upon my rights. Okay? And remember, I told you guys, your rights are secured by federal, by, uh, excuse me, by common law. Again, they don't want us to know this stuff. Okay? That's the reason why they, they, uh, you know, they, they did the old uh, sovereign citizen horse shit, okay? Because people were, were, were defending themselves in court and they were doing well. So they, you know, the, the, the schemers got together. Uh, and again, I don't know this for sure, just from my, uh, me being on YouTube for a while watching the videos, I know what's bullshit and what's legit now. So they probably got a couple of federal agents, went undercover, called themselves sovereign citizens, went into court, caused havoc, and then, you know, lo and behold, the sovereign citizens became uh, domestic terrorists. That's, that's how they do it. It's basically a false flag operation. And that's what they do, okay? But, you know, I'm like, you know what? If the Supreme Court in Howlett versus Rose says we're allowed to enforce federal laws in state court, let's stay in state court then. Right? Let's not go to federal court. Let's file trespass upon rights in state court, in a court of record. Every state is supposed to have a court of record. Okay? All right, that's a lot of words. 22 minutes have come and gone. All right? And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.